Well, it's that time of the year, the best films of 2023. We read over the top worst films of 2023. Now we're going to start looking at the best films of 2023. There's been many, and we're going to be, it's going to be a top 12. We're going to something different this year. We're going to do 12 best films. So let's start off with number 12, and it's a tie. Yes, a tie. Granted, you may say it's not a movie, but it is. It's a concert movie with two, pe two people, two great performers. Uh, one is Taylor Swift, the e Ewoks tour. Another one is Beyonce, uh, a Renaissance tour. Both of them was great. Both had great music, great set design. You just you would just want to get up and start dancing in the aisles with both of them. Uh, Beyonce was cool because Beyonce, see, a per per perfectionist as she is, she shows you the background of it, how they make the set design, how they make everything, and how the, everything is one, which is cool, which makes it a little bit of a documentary in a sense, which I thought was great. I really, it brought me out more into the film. So both of them is great. That's our number 12 best film of the year. Our number 11th best film of the year, 2023, is called Based on a Video Game. Yeah, you may say video game. What? What's based on a video game? What? Listen, there's been some great video game movies over the year. Resident Evil, Mortal Kombat. Well, the next one up the bat is Gran Turismo. Uh, anybody who knows who Gran Turismo is, it's a, based on a uh, racing game from, for the Sony PlayStation uh, console system. Um, and this one basically takes it um, from that, based on a true story about a, a young kid, young adult, who was great in his craft. Great in his video game. I mean, let's be honest. You have to have skills to play video games. It's not like back in my generation, just regular Super Mario Brothers or Mario Brother type games from Nintendo, which will be later on the list. Um, but, you know, it shows how he has skills and, and he won a contest and and then he, uh, you know, went through a contest to win. Uh, if he win, you know, based on, like I said, based on true story, uh, to become an ultimate racer, a world racer, not a video game racer. So check it out today. It's called Grand Turismo. It's called it's our eleventh best film of the year. Our number ten best film of this of two thousand twenty three is called Sisu. It's a nonstop action bloodbath. It's just a brutal, brutal, uh, brutal uh, film set in the Nazi. Era of this one guy who's just a he's just a, a Rambo he's just a commando he's just kill him left and right good acting good uh, script good uh, good performance uh, it's not for the faint of heart it, it it's very graphic very gory so if blood if blood uh, offends you this may not be for your film but anybody else it's top ten material our number ten best film of twenty twenty three. Well, our number ninth best film of 2023 uh, is a period piece film based on another based on another true story called The Boys in the Boat. It is directed by George Clooney. It's about a uh, a rowboat uh, competition. It's a rowboat sports film uh, of a group of, of young adults um, who some of them are poor. Uh, you know, join the rowboat competition. Um, and it was outstanding, outstanding. Great performance by everybody. Great directing by George Clooney. Whoever know, you know, he's a good, he is a good director, uh, as as well as good star. Um, definitely will be getting this will probably definitely get Oscar buds coming up. You know, Oscar season, which is should be this month, next month. Uh, so check it out today. It's Boys in the Boat, our number uh, nine best film of the year. Uh, number eight best film of 2023 was was a box office success, and it came out with another film that's going to be on the top ten of this year. That was a box office success, and every woman, adult woman, little child, teenager, went nuts for this film. I mean, let's be honest. Every I mean every excuse me every eight, every teenager woman, girl, not for the guys, girls went nuts for this film. It was Barbie. And, of course, Barbie just, it, it made a killing at the box office. It was a great film. Uh, it was a great uh, film, great story, great acting. Margie Robbie was great. Uh, Ryan Gosling was great. 
the whole cast was just outstanding. I, and everybody says, Bobby, but it was good. It was good. Definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, that was our number eight best film of 2023. Dun, dun, dun. Our uh, number seven best film of 2023. Of course, I was trying to say the theme, but I'm not that great with singing. Uh, Missing Impossible. Ghost Reckoning. Oh, it's going to be that. Dead Wreck Ghost Reckoning. Dead Reckoning Part 1. Uh, it was, uh, there's been, you know, kind of like the Freddy Krueger film, the Halloween films, Star Wars film. This has been a long, long uh, series for the Mission Impossible film films. And this is one of the best. This is one of the best ones they made of all the films they made. And this is part one, so we got another part two probably going to be coming out, I think, this year, I believe. Um, it was great. The acting was great. The action stuff was great. Um, the story was great. Overall, just, you know, if you, if you have, hopefully you have seen this, and sp especially in Adobe Cinema or, or RPX dealer, which you get the full effect of the film, because it's, it, it, it moves you. It, it's the, the base, it's the, the shooting scenes, is you feel it. Definitely one not to miss is called, uh, Missing Impossible Dead, uh, Reckoning Part 1. Uh, it is number, uh, number seventh best film of the year. Well, number six best film of the year is another video game, and it was one of my all-time favorite video games coming up as a child. I'm in my 50s now, about to be 51 in March, and I used to love this game, and I had all the games, I had all the systems, uh, and it was cool. When they, when they made this game movie a while back, it sucked. It was horrible, and it didn't do justice for the, for the, the, the film. Now they have it out, and it was outstanding. Uh, outstanding. And it's called the Super Mario Brothers movie. So anybody who knows video games knows Super Mario Brothers is the biggest of all of them coming from Nintendo systems. Um, well, this movie was great. The special effects were great. The story was great. Everything overall was just great. This is, was a fun, fun, fun film. And it definitely deserves top 10 on my list. It's called the Super Mario Brother movie. It was our number six best film of 2023. Our number fifth uh, best film of 2023 is also a remake. And this time it, they took it to a musical uh, type of remake. And it was great. It was moving, touching. I cried. Uh, I, you know, I laughed. The audience just loved it. They ate it up. It's called The Color Purple. Everybody who knows the beloved uh, play, I think, a book, as well as the previous film, uh, would love this one. It was just, it came out of Christmas, and I seen it on Christmas, and I just, by the end, I had tears in my eyes. It was, it was moving, it was great. Uh, definitely don't want to miss it, because it's playing until now, because it came out a couple weeks ago. It's called The Color Purple, and it's our number fifth best film of the year. Our number four best film of 2023 is a period piece called Killers of the Flower Moon, which is directed by that a great director, Marcus Godesi. It stars Leo DiCaprio. It was a great, great motion picture. Uh, it's about three and a half hours long, but it does not feel like that. Um, it just has great uh, cinematography, great acting, great story, great uh, everything. Um, it's uh, about the uh, Indian... Uh, Indian tribe that um, was getting killed off led by uh, Osai Indian tribe that was getting killed off one by one for the oil, the land, and uh, and basically who did it, who done it, who done it. It tells the story of it. It was great. You definitely do not want to miss it. It's called Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, it's our number fourth best film of the year. Well, number. Three best film of the year. It's another film that came out right around Christmas time. And if you're a wrestling fan like I am, um, this is a big one. Uh, one of the biggest families in the 1990s uh, was uh, the Von Erics. Uh But they had a lot of tragedies, suicides, a lot of tragedies in, the, in that family. This tells the story of them, which is based on a true story, of course. Um, it's our number three best film of the year. Uh, for 2023, it's called the Iron Claw. And of course, that was the finishing move that made that family favorite famous was the Iron Claw. A who into sports, into wrestling, would love the story. The story is great. It's very deep, very emotional. 
sad and sometimes, but overall a great performance by everybody. Sevi Sack Efron, which was surprising to see him do this type of great job, and he transformed himself into a wrestler. He did a great job of that as well. So definitely check it out. It's called The Iron Claw. It's a number three best. Well, a number two best film of the year, which was another based on another true story, uh, period piece that came out uh, a long time ago, and it's based on Oppenheimer. Uh, Oppenheimer was the gentleman who made the atomic bomb, and this tells his life. Great performance by Claire, uh, Claire, Claire, Claire I can never say his name, Murphy. Uh, he did a great job as playing the, the lead, Oppenheimer. Um, it's long, it's about two and a half hours, two hours, uh, but it was great. The story was great, the performance was great, the acting was great, the cinematography was great. No CGI stuff in it. No CGI. It was all singing with Tiger. It was great. Um, that's just how that director is. He's known for that stuff. I uh, definitely do not want to miss it. It is our number two best film of the year, and it's called Oppenheimer. Uh, here we are, our number one best film of the year for 2023, and it's a doozy. A lot of action, a lot of story, a lot of story. It expands four films. A lot of action, a lot of gunfights, a lot of killing, a lot of blood, non-stop killing, non-stop killing, non-stop blood. But a great performance by Keanu Reeves. Um, like the one in the first chap, the first chapter said, he's the one who would take out the boogeyman. He was the boogeyman. We, he, they took him. He takes out the boogeyman. That is called John Wick, chapter four. It was an outstanding motion picture. Outstanding. It definitely deserved its top spot. It was nonstop gunfights, nonstop story. It, it spanned over four chapters. Uh, not to go out how they ended it, but you have to check it out, so I'm not going to know spoils. But you definitely want to check it out. It's called John Wick Chapter 4. Our number one film for 2023. And let's see how 2024 is going to be. Let's hope it's going to be a good year of films. This is um, King Moon Media signing off. Hope to see you at the movies. Film of the year.